game fight this early game engagement it looks like evolution are the team to be going down as well definitely something you gotta pay out pay some clear attention for at the beginning of these fights i'm telling you teams that are just going to be aggressing early game trying to take down some early points as well they're not bothered about the placement for now ladies and gentlemen these guys are bothered about taking that top spot in tonight's series so good luck to them right now i'm excited to see how blc play this one out from ggm right now they are going to be having to fight around the dark veil looks like the enemy team just stuck in that choke point here all soon for team singed gaming they're going to be diving away but Looks like the pressure is on. As you can see, Dal diving on in and knocking with the triple take. This man is one to be scared of right now. He is not missing a goddamn thing, chat. We are off to a crazy start in tonight's D-Sports Gaming Scrim Series. So this could be very juicy for them right now. Potentially waiting for that push to happen. Sinjid Gaming not really panicking too much right now. Calix on that half health, but we'll need to be healing up before that zone starts ticking because that is the dangerous part of today's Apex, ladies and gentlemen. The zone... The zone is the biggest killer, chat. If I do say so myself, it's about to be a little bit juicy. So good luck to them. Hopefully they can make their way in there and potentially not get held. This position here, we've got Ecstasy, Savage and Lil Savage as well in the house. Valkyries, they are going to be rotating away here, trying to find some high ground, trying to just do what they do best and take picks from that long range. We've got Foddy on the Bloodhound tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby, you love to see it. That sends me on a great hype. And good luck to the DSU Valkyries. Hopefully, we see them in that top 10 situation very soon. Second, Team Snow, a brand new team locked in to, to tonight's Scrim Series. It's an absolute pleasure to have you guys locked in. I appreciate you guys so much. Bananas taking a little bit of damage here. He's going to have to heal up with only that white shield to work with. And we've got Izzy Wizzy, Arctis. Izzy Wizzy, by the way. What a what great goddamn name. I tell you what, I respect good names, chat, and that is definitely one of them. Big shout out to Izzy Wizzy, Bananas, and Arctic. Good luck to you boys tonight. So much happening right now, as you can see, towards the center of this zone. But we've also got a little bit of an engagement here towards the south side. We've got Raptor Respots. A little bit of a sticky situation here. Down to two. It's going to be dropping off the bridge. And Nokia going up against Orny right now. By the looks of it, Nokia in a little bit of a sticky situation. And Orny's going to be clearing up like that, boys. GGM falls to the hands of Raptor Esports right now. These guys are going to be in a great position to rotate. Pretty much a free rotation now in towards that zone. So good luck to them. Oh, the, uh, the pressure coming in here from Sinjid Gaming. They are going to be diving on towards this solo player by the looks of it. And Lee is potentially trying to look to uh, get himself out of there. But being the last player alive for Durham, he is going to be playing that rave. So it's going to give him a little bit extra to work with. But... Not that much extra chat because Nova, he's got him in his line of sight and this guy is not going to be missing today, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute scenes coming in from Sinja Gaming already. DSG Valkyries in a little bit of a sticky situation. Camps is going to be taking a lot of damage here. And Nova, they're going to be out in the pressure. And now Camps caught by herself. She's going to be having to hit that Horizon Q and work her way back to the team. But oh no, just about goes down. But this could be perfect there. The Horizon Q coming in clutch. And Kitty Fame is going to be holding the high ground. Beautiful scenes coming in from Cam's there. She does use that Horizon Q. That was a squeaky bum time, though, chat. Is it? Dishing out a hell of a lot of damage here. But this could be dangerous for Exo. He does go down. And now a 3v2 situation. Snow going absolutely wild right now. Playing shoulder to shoulder. And doing an absolutely incredible job of it. Arctis doing an insane job there of getting that thirst. He's going to be going for the other one. And he needs that shield drop as soon as possible. Izzy Wizzy with a clear up. And TFU are going to be going down to Team Snow. Oh, baby. Orni adding the pressure right now. Raptor Esports, they are going to be taking Tweakers down. Facing a lot of third-party damage here. Well, this is no team that is going to crumble under pressure, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor Esports, they've done an incredible job at staying consistent in the scrims. And here they are again, diving in towards this top 10 situation. Team that he's going to have to try and work around. And this could be very, very dangerous for him if he does end up getting spotted. Look, Harden already spotting out that solo player. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Loss just like that. Going to be picking up on that extra point on the leaderboard. We knew that was always coming, baby. In out and Izzy Wizzy Blue trying to dish out a little bit of damage, but goes down to one member. Now, Izzy trying to escape. 
doing everything they can right now to dodge bullets and trying to pop that shield back. But just take a look at this movement right now. Absolutely incredible scenes coming in from Izzy, but it's not going to be a laugh. Apex fame there with a clear up. Crazy scenes coming in from these two members right now for Desports Gaming. Of in the community, and I just want to say right now, whilst we have a minute, thank you guys so much for the vibe and for the amount of support that you guys have been showing to the channel. I cannot believe we have our foot in the door with EU Apex, and we're finally here providing incredible scrims and incredible tournaments for you guys. So, without further ado, let's get back on into the action. But my name is Dilly D, and I hope you're having a great time here, boys and girls. Just take a look at what is happening right now fighting each other and leading it into this top two situation. Rogue hold, holding the high ground. Orsum does going to be take down. Does going to take down Storm there and lost. They're going to be going down to Team Sinjid Gaming. Caught off guard here and Sinjid now in a very, very nice position with two gold shields and one red. This could be a massive, massive ending here, chat. We're down to three squads remaining. And now, Sinjid Gaming, they're going to be queuing up to that high ground. Easy place for Morsoon right now. He's just going to be absolutely diving on him. Sinjid Gaming here. One member has sent it, but Merc's going to be clearing up and saying no. Oh, my Lord. The plays there from Orsoom. The confidence was crazy, and it's given up the position here for Sinjid Gaming. They are going to be holding the high ground, but potentially at what cost now with two players left alive going up against MCA number eight. Take down one, but it's not quite being going to be enough. Carlix doing whatever they can. Now, a 1v1 situation, ladies and gentlemen. Rogue going up against Carlix with a gold shield. The spray down happening from all sides. The zone is going to be damaging as well. And MCA number eight take game number one of tonight's Esports game in Scrim Series. That was wild, chat. Shield says, I'm going to be dropped and this could be our first contest of the game. But, oh, wow, look at Thermal Station right now, ladies and gentlemen. Shot's going to be going out here. As you can see, we've got the Valkyries down to one member. Cams, last alive here. Spray down happening from Cams, and that's going to be a lot of damage. But is it going to be quite enough here as the final push happens in DSG Valkyries? They are going to be going down there in this early game contest. That was crazy scenes there coming in from Luna, and very well played at that. In. I think Countdown is the only one, and potentially we've got Sparta, as you can see, chasing down this enemy team right now, ladies and gentlemen. This could be wild. As you can see, Merc with the Peacekeeper in his hands right now, and this guy's not going to miss those shots. This has been an absolute madness, if I do say so myself. Sparta clearing it up. They're going to be taking that extra point on the leaderboard. Yeah, I'm looking for the flank. Go on next I'm going to go on diner. Okay. On diner. that corner. One drop. I knocked one on corner. One running in the open. Fuse. He's in south almost. Dead. Right. Fuse dead. Around this wall. And like right, up, right behind that rock. You have nades for it. Locked him. Last one. He's shooting spike. Flash. Not dead. No. There's right side. That's dead. Team here. Look at this. I'm swinging left, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm popping a bet. You gotta help him fame if you can. Yeah, we are seeing an absolute madness coming in from Sports Gaming right now. They are going to be taking Sparta down and out of the game. This is crazy scenes, and these live comms are just juicing things up a little bit more, chat. We are constantly looking to improve our scrims and our tournaments every time, and that is one hell of an addition, if I do say so myself right now. I'm going to go in absolutely crazy. They do have kills to their name. Seven squads remain right now and 18 left in the Apex games in total. We're about to see our madness right now. Let's dive into two. the north side here. We've got 4PM Club also taking a lot of damage. Viable. Last alive. Going to be pushing in towards Lost, but Lost, they're going to be capitalizing here. Throwing down the lifeline Q here. And this is going to be healing up that team. Storm also popping the bat. And these guys are going for that hard reset. Going to get the bat off and TFN also... Holding this high ground. Harden's going to be taking down the final player now. And loss to clear on up. TFN last alive. And this should be Loss's game right now. Doing whatever they can right now to take him down. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Team Loss, they are going to be taking game number two of tonight's scrim series. This is already off to a crazy start. And I can't believe what I'm witnessing. As the res goes off, Jack back up on his feet, but that Horizon Ultimate is going to be causing a lot of problems. Kane also taking a hell of a lot of damage right now, and it's viable. Last alive to try and do whatever he can right now to stay alive. 4pm club now in a 3v1 situation. Viable last alive playing around the truck. He's going to be taking a lot of damage, and now the push is happening, and 4pm club go down. 
can ult them. To the right? Yeah, do it, do it. They ulted us. Spang ult. Good ult, good ult. Yep, throwing nades. They, they just went under. Yeah. They might have ran back. Hit one. One blue, one purple. I don't have digi. Can't see. Yeah, they're, they're fully running back. They're fully running back. Right, okay. No, no, no. They're still here. Still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 actually, come back, come back, come back. Yeah. I'd rather not get stuck. And a very smart decision at that chat. I'm loving this. This is the best addition we've ever had to the stream, man. This is so fun. Just listening to the intensity, listening to the comms from some of these players just brings a whole new outlook to the eSports game in Scrims chat, and I'm all for it. I appreciate all of you guys locking in tonight, and this is about to be a madness going forward. Not quite going to be able to get the heals off because there's too much pressure coming in from TFU right now, chat. Awesome going up on that evac tower. Going to be taking a hell of a lot of damage from Zabster. And this guy is not going to miss with that 30-30 in hand. A bit of a sticky one for them. They've got a long way to go in this zone. And as you can see right now, a lot of teams in between them as well. So good luck to them right now. They have got the Valks to contest and GGM just a few meters ahead. But will they get spotted? Considering how late they rotated there, this could be a nice positioning for them. And if they want to go for that rap play, if they want to go for a slower game, that's what they're going to have to do because we've got GGM standing tall in the tower. Because we're seeing teams go absolutely at it. And just take a look at this right now. TFU going crazy, playing around what looks to be another team here. We've got Megalodons down to two as well. And this could be a sticky one. Exquisite, last alive. Gold Zero, wake and bake. Now, in the final moments here, this breakdown happening from Gold Zero. Goes down to one health and Exquisite is going to be capitalizing there. And that is a hard reset for TFU right now. And D-Sports Gaming have that on lock. They are going to be pressured from all sides, but... Clutchy, J Black Joker, Apex Fame. We've seen these guys do the impossible before, and I'm super excited to see how they play this one out. We've got J Black Joker now on the anchor, and we've seen this man go crazy, man. I'm super excited to see what this guy has to offer in tonight's scrim series. Now with 12 squads remaining, these guys, are, these guys are about to get a little bit tasty with it. High ground and potentially looking down on some of these players, and Exquisite is going to be taking all the damage here from Rogue. The Dark Veil gets used. It's going to buy them a little bit of time here to rotate. Thankfully, that gold shield as well coming into play. Pixter, Tiffin and Rogue doing what they can here to just secure a little bit of high ground. They do have a slight rotation in towards the zone, but this is going to play beautifully well for them. Walker is moving in now, and here we go. Exit taking a lot of damage here from Cams. We'll hopefully be able to dive into some comms, some live comms as we go into these final moments. And I am very excited to see what's happening right now. And comms is going to be taking down the final member of BLC. This is wild, ladies and gentlemen. The Valkyries secure themselves a top five position. Fame, Joker and Clutchy going up against Cam's Kitty Fame and Foddy there on the west side of this zone. We've got Team Loss also holding it down in a nice position. Look at the way these guys just hold hands and play on top of each other. The Lifeline Ultimate is going to go down there, buying themselves a little bit of time and a little bit of cover. But who is going to be the first one to initiate on one of these fights, chat? MCA, they are going to be taking game number three there. Very unfortunate for the D-Sports gaming boys as they do go down. That crazy peak there. The comms coming in from Clutchy. But the spray downs happening from the other teams. And MCA8, they are going to be taking game number three. This one is one hell of a scrims tournament tonight, chat. This is it. Oh my god, why is he zip so high? No. I'll be okay. But I, I won't be able to come back for you, Fadi. I'm so mad at that. Hopefully they died the zone too. I'm so Kitty, mad. I have no flash shields. How far is this zone? Oh, yeah, zone, 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 zone. You bike here enough, man. Хорош, молодец. На, все убили нахуй. Nice. A great little clear up there coming in from Loss. They didn't quite take down the team, but 4pm are going to be going out there to the zone. Loss capitalizing on that one, chat. And Bagel Bandit's going to get spotted. He is going to be shooting up on that Horizon Q, but it is not good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Singed Gaming capitalized there, and they're going to be healing up to full. Team loss, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be taking game number four again. It was theirs, and they played that so well. Positioning came in key. They managed to spread in towards that end zone, and very unfortunate for Sinjid Gaming as they do go down. A lot of damage was dished there from the Peacekeeper as well. 
But good luck to everyone right now. We're going to be locked in very soon, and I'll see you guys in a minute's time. Даня, ну просто твое, блядь, это ничтожество. Убей просто его. Найс! А, не-не-не-не-не. Little Savage in Ecstasy also diving on in, but it looks like a spray down happening here towards Seizy. Hardened, gonna be taking Savage down, and here we go, low health right now for Savage. Ecstasy now in a 2v1 situation, the first time that they could be winning this contest, ladies and gentlemen. Storm, last alive for Team Loss, doing whatever they can and potentially gonna pull this res off. Seizy goes down, Savage and Ecstasy, last alive, going up against the final member of Team Loss. Previous back-to-back -back winners. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Tweakers are going to be happy with that one. Yes. Nice. I'm out in the door. I killed my Silas. Splashy, splash. Okay, now we're going to go. Oh, I... You and D. I need that. Please, please, now No! Oh, oh, my God. Where has your brother gone, Carver? Why has I he gone to eat lunch in the... <laughs> Bit of a sticky situation as TFU dive on in. The Bangalore ultimate is going to be going out. That's going to be forcing a few of these team members inside. And now the nade's about to go out as well. This could be sticky. Wake and bait, unfortunately, they're catching his teammate. And Beast is going to be taking a lot of damage there. Wake and bait also goes down. Gold Zero last alive to play around the shield. But dishing out a lot of damage. But it's not quite going to be enough, ladies and gentlemen. TFU taking three extra points on that leaderboard. Spotted them out, and now we're going to see a big contest here happening from D-Sports Gaming going up against the Tweakers. We have got MCA coming in as well with the added pressure. The Tweakers now going down, and D-Sports Gaming also down to two. Ladies and gentlemen, MCA8 now adding so much pressure. Clutchy, last alive here, spraying down, doing whatever they can, but it's not going to be enough. MCA8 played that perfectly. They come in with that third party. Evolution down to one member. Playing the knockdown shields. Exit, Furious and Lola. They're going to be going for it. They're going to be sending it in. And just take a look at this now. Dog Veil goes out. But is it going to be enough to survive? And unfortunately, it is not. BLC, they're going to be capitalizing, winning that contest. I'm dead. I'm dead. Did I not, did I not close the door? Sorry, what? Bro, come to me. What made you think we could fucking teleport to you in an instant? Because there's a zip bro. line going right to me. Make a beamer from a zip line, you dumbass. Beastie goes down. Gold Zero trying to get the shield cell off, but it's not going to be enough for Megalodons. Now, loss coming in for that third party chat. Just take a look at the amount of damage that is being done here from Storm. The fuse is crazy in this current meta chat. Poke damage, nade damage, the whole shebang. It's going crazy. It's lost. They're trying to capitalize on these final kills here. This is definitely not what you want to see if you are BLC right now. Exit, last alive. Goes down to half health. Gets the shield swap, but is it quite going to be enough? 2v1. Exit gets one, but Boba with the cleanup gets the shield swap, and that is going to be a full reset for Raptor Esports right now. And Viable trying to defend themselves against this huge push here coming in from Luna, and now a 3v2 situation. 2v2 situation, may I add, for 4 p.m. club, and the shots are going to go out from Jack. Geo down to one. Kane goes down on our shock versus Jack. Gets slowed. And it is going to be shocks that it's going to be getting third partied, ladies and gentlemen. Two versus two versus two. The Mastiff in the hands of Sirens. Taking a lot of damage, but just about going to get that shield swap off. And now Rogue being pressured on the stairs. OE diving on it in. TF taking a lot of damage. And they're just going to be diving on into the nades, but there's so many of them, chat. Sirens can't afford to take any more damage. He's going to try the shield swap, but Reiki goes down as well. And now Sirens last alive, but oh, we get eliminated. Rogue and TF now making their way through. Loss is definitely not a team that you want to be caught on the edge of the zone by, but 
all of these teams now playing the slow game, waiting for that initial encounter, waiting for that initial team fight to unfold. And then it's all going to happen, chat. It's all going to happen at once. We know how it goes here in Apex. We know how it goes here in the DSports scrim series, especially. This one's about to get a little bit nuts. Raptor Esports doing a great job of just being two here and holding down this high ground is vital for these guys if they want to win this. But look at this now. Awesome getting pressured from TFU. They've caught him off guard. They know the rat was there. And these guys are going to be making their way in towards this final zone. Look at the fuse ultimates that are going out here. Let's just take a quick look at this. TFU playing the high ground on the RV. And now Lost taking a lot of damage here. Playing towards this east side of the zone. And somehow we have seen these teams still going up. And we've seen Team MCA with the Kraber in hand still alive. TF last alive now for MC. Going to be throwing out the shots toward Harden. Harden taking a lot of damage. And TF going to be capitalizing now. The final moment's unfolding. Loss versus MCA. The final player. Seizy and Storm. They're going to be diving in. It looks like TF. Doing whatever they can to survive here. Crazy scenes, but Loss are going to be taking the final game of tonight's DSports Gaming Scrim Series. What a tournament. What a scrims. You guys have seriously brought that A game tonight's stream. And I just want to say a massive, massive shout out to every single goddamn one of you guys right now.